in the dark. It's really brief. It's nothing. It's really simple. I think like the charts are posted earlier. Would probably explain it all. But I'm just gonna explain what I was thinking at the time. <coughs> there we go. Mitch has explained it all. Mitch is because Mitch gets all hormonal and it's time of the year, time of the month for him as well. First week of the month. So we can explain it in detail for those that don't understand. Right. Okay, so let me just check if this is correct. Yep. So make a start, yeah? Let what color that is. So I was watching this, right? Um, I had this daily um, breaker. So you all can see this daily breaker, right? You can see this daily breaker. Yeah, it is a breaker. It's because it takes out this stop here. Okay, so stop. So obviously you can see that's a breaker and now it's going to go down. Now if you look at the chart, it's a thin, fast move up and we've got a lot of inefficiency left here. So let's look. For the past couple of days, what's been happening? See this there? See this breaker here? Now it's reacting off it. And so automatically we know that's going to be bearish by us. And where do we target? Well, we'll do this. There. See that? This. So is inefficient. So we can go to so basically the daily is so fast. So I'm gonna go through really slowly, really thoroughly, and this can be applied to any other trade as well and any other time frame. So if this was a five minute time frame, it would be the same thing. For five minutes, probably only get about five ticks out of it. Whereas a four hour and daily, it gets loads more ticks out of it. So far, is it clear? I haven't explained much, but I've just marked out this stop right here. And um, save your questions till the end. Okay, who's the question? I'll just I'll just chill for a bit. So who's the question? You can ask away. And please don't record the question because that's when my language was really foul. So please don't record that part. So there, stops taking basic, basically. Um, and we've got this inefficiency. So let's go down to the four hour. Now, look at, if you look at the four hour, um, so price was meandering around here. And it's come off of that. We've got a lot of time, you can see this breaker here. And uh, it started to break down, you know. And we know it's got all this range to fill in still. And if we go around to the H1, this was on the chart, you see me. See this block here? Nicely. Now, the top of the block is 83. I have my profit target set at 85 just to cover spread, you know. I'm going to be first about 5, 10, 15 ticks when you call all that big move. So I'm expecting all this range to be filled in. Now, I, I keep talking about this, but I'm going to repeat it again. Remember that video I did about uh, intra week stops, highs, and lows? Um, intrigue, sell models, buy models. Yeah, guys, remember that I did it in December, I think, or November. I don't know. Some on YouTube. Now let's 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 add that to the equation now. See, I bring everything in. So we start with the daily, go to the four hour. You can see it nicely. So it comes into that block there, comes down, breaks market structure. And let's see what's happened each day. So one. So if I was shorter this, I'd be targeting this area here. And then maybe later on this, but I'm gonna target this and I'm gonna be done. Um. So Monday there, there, and I missed all this. I wasn't even trading much. So let's go down. So if we look, so we've got all this shit happening. Now, you, what you do is, if you've got a bearish bias, right? So that daily is giving us a bearish bias, right? Then we look at, okay, what's happened throughout the whole week, right? That's going to um, that's gonna give us more reason to short it. What, what do we look for? Liquidity. So we got all this here. I mean, this is a clean old bottom, but see this obvious area liquidity. So ignore this for now. Friday price section. So this is when I'm looking at the market. I was looking at this, and we've got li we've got liquidity here, clean old bottom, right? So and what we have we've got that daily bearish bias here. So a lot of people here still get stuck on the five minute, ten minute, I mean fifteen minute charts, or even one minute charts, and they don't know what the fuck's happening. Like, and just basically, I don't reply to people like that anymore because, you know, say, ICT always goes on about it. Just stick to the fucking daily charts, yeah. And the lower time frames should only be used for your entries. You know, a lot of mess is going on here. Look at this. You're in a trade here and you're fucking getting sucked in all this. So I've got this marked and I've got this marked and I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna go down. Now, how do I enter? So go to the five minute. 
then I went to plan. There's not this many refining in my entry. So I, I know my bearish bias is down. And I know where it's trying to target this range fill. This and looking at it, um, you can see, you can obviously see that you know because of this it's gone up 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 and from there to there it's like a sell model, isn't it? That's what I'm looking for. But pretend Friday's price action has happened. So it's gone there now. I want to see it. are the blocks getting respected and I, and our stops getting taken. So we'll do one by one. So we've got this block here. So the high to low. So this is where the selling started. It's sold here. Okay, nicely. Nicely done. I still haven't taken the stop sets, so these are still taken. It's funny how the engineer this down. They didn't, well, they did trip it by about half a tick or whatever, but I still face see this is really clean. So that's going to be a target in mind. And then engineer is up and it takes out these highs here, runs up, comes down, runs up uh, into that block. What time? London open. Sell it nicely, 90 ticks intraday. Obviously, if you didn't take your profits, you know, if I was sure this, I probably would have been holding for that, and I probably would, I would have held it because if you're day trading, that's different. But if you're like short term to swim trading, then you know you're gonna be prepared to not move your stop loss too soon as well. So it depends. So I mean, it would, it would have been wise to take profit anyway. 80 ticks, and your stop loss there, 15 ticks. That's about what, one, two, three, four, about five, six. Are so take your fucking profit, man. And then, so if you go back to the five minutes, so we see, we're seeing this happen. And then we've got this happening here. So as you can see, we're getting stop raise. I want to see a stop rate into a block, back into that period of swimming. It's a Thursday, I think. Leaving these clean lows, uh, runs up, takes out takes out this high, takes out this high, and then respecting that block here. So can you see how you know the 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 selling, and then they're taking it back up, selling more, taking it back up, and see how they're doing it. Respecting these blocks nicely, so when I see that, that's a really strong sign for me. And I've already got my areas marked up where it's going to go on the higher time frame, and I've already got my liquidity pools marked out. That's the idea. I did pay attention, but I did all that work just for this trade that was, I was going to take. And then I see this happening, so I've got inefficiency here, clean pool here, and I've got you know price going up. And at the same time, looking like this, I'm thinking, okay, trendline traders. They they take they're bringing in trendline traders now, so buy so, so here here here, and every time I'm touching this, they they get confident now. This is nice, nice bullish trend line here. Every time I'm touching this, I love to see that because that's what I know they're gonna fucking screw everyone. And then what does he do? Comes into this block here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove this, and instead of now, I was gonna leave a limit order in here. I keep a stop loss there, 8 tick stop loss, or 9 tick stop loss, but I didn't. So I'm going to, you know what, if it's going to hold, let me just wait for a bit of confirmation here. Yeah? So I waited for my confirmation. Where was my confirmation? So it's a run up there. It's taken out these stops here. Yeah? It's taken out, you know, um, let me mark out the stops. So, so far, is it clear what, what I'm saying? Is it clear? So we've got stops there. So stops there. You can see the obvious areas, the stops. They keep taking it. And then it comes down and it goes up and it breaks. Now, this is my a breaking market structure. So everything makes it the daily, but I'm losing this lower time frame to for my entry only. It's come up here, right? And as it runs up, I sold it. Right? And I kept my stop loss here. Because if I'm correct, this high here, it comes down and it breaks that structure low. So they sold it here then. The the, the stronger move happened here. From this block here all the way down, let's draw this 50% out. Go nicely to the 50%. It's pogs if I take or two. It's a five minute fucking candle, so you're getting going. You know, bitch too much about it. I sold it. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to play a video for you, okay? Right, because I can. And tell, tell me if this is clear or not, okay? You got to let me know. Tell me if this is clear. So, this is how, this is how I was thinking live. Right, I'm playing it now. Okay, see, can you, can you guys see it clearly? There, I sold it there. And see where I put my stop loss. There, five, that's a five tick stop plus there, yeah. Can you guys see that? Is it playing live or is it um, freezing? Okay, that, that, that's my entry. I just want to show my entry, so just to prove that I do have a fucking five tick stop plus, okay? And then, you know what happens next. So this is an 11 hour long video. I'm going to go into detail.
Yeah, that's what I, yeah. So th this will all be in the video that I release anyway, so don't worry too much about that. So that's where I sold it. So as you can see, as price was running up, I sold it. Because if I'm correct, and this is going to hold then, isn't it? So it's low, it's low risk trade. And I've explained all the details behind it. All, so you use all previous tweaks prior for action to derive that. <coughs> so, and then we've got that little market structure break here to confirm it, that's it. And then up, and then sell it. As, assume a big bear, a bullish candle. I know it's scary, but sell into that one. And it's, because it gives you a nice tight stop. And if you're correct, you'll be on the positive side of spread straight away. Or really quickly. Not all the trades work out like that, but this was a no-brainer because I wasn't intending on trading. When I seen this, I well, I'm gonna take this, and then I entered there. And the rest is history. It breaks down. Now, as it's breaking down, I'm in two minds now. Profit taking. This is when greed is kicking in. I'm not gonna lie to you. So initially, I set my profit level here. If you see from my previous tweets, you'll see me 140. I set my profit target. Then as price was developing, and you know, it's reaching that goal. You know what? NFP is coming, and you know, what? I'm gonna hold it for. This area I was marked out before. <coughs> now, the point that I was doubting myself was you see this here? How clean that is. Now, I said to myself, okay, if this doesn't get taken before NFP, then you know what? I'm probably going to cut it. Um, although I do things that go down, you could just easily just do another stop rate and maybe just spread takes me out. Fuck knows. Uh, this is really clear, clean. And it's come down here, and here when it's come down here, I tweeted, "Oh, it's approaching my target of 154.40." Uh, uh, and then I said, "There's moving up." Then I'm thinking, "I'm looking like a right dickhead now, isn't it?" But I still held it. But I thought, you know, it's the only trade that we can do, and I'm really confident it's gonna go. So um, maybe some people will argue, "Well, you should take profit," but this is our trade. It works for me, so. Uh, certain trades I'll be like where, but I'm not gonna hold it. But certain trades I've got confidence on I will fucking hold it. So as it comes up, it, it trips, it trips these. Now in the video you'll see me draw this out. This five minute block here. You see, well, I love seeing this. So I'll do that in a different color. We've got a, um, we've got a five minute. Oh, no, I'll do that gray color. Where's the gray color? Yeah. See this five minute block. Price is actually coming to this five minute block. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, you've got liquidity resting here, and there's a block there. So if you're correct, then you know what, this should hold. So at this point, I've got myself to break even. But if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I've got enough room for myself to break even. So it's run up there, and I'm watching here. And then, okay, um, it's gone up there. It's rejecting. So it's taking out this liquidity here into a block. And so those are shake. They were shaking out here. So I just shorted it here. I had my stop last way just above this five minute block here. So should rate that should it? If I'm correct, it shouldn't go that high. It's taking the stops into a block and then it should start falling and then it starts breaking down. And when this happens then I'm like, yeah, fucking got it. And then at that point I changed my stop loss to here. <laughs> and then it's pushing up. And this at this point I wasn't looking at it because I was in the master and I was trying to play. And then when I look at my um uh phone, it's hit my target. Um, that was it. But it's simple, isn't it? It's simple. Stop rates, starting with a higher time frame, daily, four hour, and then drilling it into the lower time frame. And nothing here I've done, you all should know this is basic stuff. There's nothing complicated I've done. I haven't used FIBs or anything, I've got nothing complicated. I've looked at, okay, what should be happening? What is the market trying to do? Um, because if this was taken ahead of NFP, then I probably would have closed it. The fact that they still left that in, so they've come down, broken this down more further, you know what, sellers in control. One more push up to get the weak hands out, because those that were shorting, let's be honest, those that are shorting here, and it's coming down here, they're probably going to move this up, see, aren't they? And then they exceed, and then what, what, what happens? They see they see this high here, and they're coming down, and say, yeah, 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 do you know what, it's coming to a block as well. And I actually had this marked out on my chart as well. And um, they say, okay, let's move our stops there, and then they run up, take out the stops from there, there, and then they pop the uncle. Is that clear? Now, hopefully, it should be clear. As simple as I can explain it. If you don't go, then I don't think. I don't know.
But yeah, so training like this can be really tight stuff. I've had like five ticks, one probably the one of the tightest stops I've had. Is it pounding? Pounding. Obviously, some of your spreads are going to be five ticks on pounding, but you know, um, unfortunately, some of my, the brokers I use they give me really tight stops uh, spread. Yeah, not this. I'm not recording this, but I think Mitch is. Uh, but the live trade I did, I just showed uh, beginning of part that will be posted. It's got a bit of editing to do. You know, speeding up some music behind it, cut some hours out. It's too long. But is everything there clear? And that's all I looked at. I'm not bothered with anything else. Don't need every single fucking market. Okay, send it to me, Mitch, and I'll post it on my feed. If you can. Um, okay, if, don't include. Uh, do you still have the intro? Do you still have the intro you made me? You still got the intro in it? Put the intro in. And just send it to me. I'll post it on my. Uh, cheese man. Don't add the question. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna take questions now, okay? So I want the question. It's all ICT stuff. Everything I do is ICT. That's it. 